One of my students brought this question to my attention. Senior Kangaroo 2011 Q20. The polynomial f of x is such that f of x squared plus 1 equals x to the 4 plus 4x squared. One thing you might notice, I, I, I played around with this for a little while, and this is when I discovered that if you think about x plus 2 squared, perhaps from if you've been doing any completing the square, you can obviously write it like this, x plus 2 times x plus 2 equals x squared plus 4x plus 4. And then if you think about what would happen if you substituted x squared plus 2 instead of x plus 2, you can see, I won't write it out in full, you can see how you would get x to the 4 plus 4x squared plus 4. So if we were completing the square, we would say something like that this expression f of x squared plus 1 is x squared plus 2 squared minus the 4. So why have I said minus the 4? Well, because there isn't a plus 4 here. Not there. So we have to minus the 4. We have to get rid of this 4 here and we do that by by writing x squared plus 2 squared which would give you all of this and then we minus the 4 at the end subtract I should say subtract we subtract the 4 at the end to get um, x to the 4 plus 4x four squared all right how's that looking now this is the so so far I've just used, I feel like I've just used completing the square. So I've just looked at what does that x to the 4 plus 4x squared remind me of? It reminds me of x squared plus 2 squared, which is here. So I had to do a little bit of fiddling around to get that. Now, <laughs> this is the hard bit. We're told that this is f of x squared plus 1. So what we need to do is to think about what the expression x squared plus 2. How do we express that in terms of x squared plus 1? x squared plus 2 is clearly x squared plus 1 plus 1. We don't know f of x yet. <laughs> That's the problem. We're trying to work out f of x. So this is the, the hard bit. So we write that f of x squared plus 1 equals x squared plus 2 squared minus 4. And this is where we find, this is where we start looking in here. And we say, well, what is, so this expression here is x squared plus 2. And we can see that that is x squared plus 1 plus 1. So I'll put a circle around this. So now we can write that f of x squared plus 1 equals x squared plus 1 plus 1 squared minus 4. Right. So we've identified, this is, this is what we've done, we've identified where the x squared plus 1 lives in f of x squared plus 1. So this tells us, for example, to make it less confusing, if we were to call it f of a, we see that f of a equals a plus 1 squared minus 4. My god, the police again! There was a car chase earlier. Marie was telling me about it. Right, I'm back. Okay, f of a equals a plus 1 squared minus 4. And we know that because we identified where the x squared plus 1 lived in the term f of x squared plus 1. And so we found that it lived here. And that gave us a clue. 
so now we can actually write I know I'm duplicating but f of x equals x plus 1 squared I don't know why I'm using square brackets minus 4 and now we'll, we could just double check but we can see if we were going to do f of x squared plus 1 then we would substitute x squared plus 1 in instead of x and we would find the inside here we got x squared plus 2 squared minus 4 okay so where are we um, and we already checked earlier that that gives us let, let's just go, we'll go through the whole thing just so that you can see the logic equals it's x to the 4 plus 4x squared and then I'll write in red plus 4 and then obviously minus 4 which cancels out so let's cancel them things out so I'm hoping at this point that I've convinced you that when we're given this expression here f of x squared plus 1 equals x to the 4 plus 4x squared we can show that f of x must be x plus 1 squared minus 4 so f of x is x squared plus 2x 2x minus 3 what the question asked for is a squared plus b squared plus c squared in the expression for f of x squared minus 1 my, actually my preferred method of doing this is to say given that f of x equals x plus 1 squared minus 4 well let's substitute x squared minus 1 into that and it comes out quite neat so f of x squared minus 1 is also equal to x squared minus 1 plus 1 squared minus 4 we get a red thing and we get rid of these because they cancel each other out so actually because f of x equals x plus 1 squared minus 4 and x squared minus 1 plus 1 is x squared we get f of x squared minus 1 equals x squared squared minus 4 equals x to the 4 minus 4 they actually asked for these coefficients a b and c so they wanted to know what the values are of a b and c and um, they also wanted us to square them so to find out what a squared plus b squared plus c squared is let's have a look a equals one that's the coefficient of wait oh god it's x to the four here and x squared here Right, the coefficient of x to the 4 is 1, the coefficient of x squared, sorry, b, the coefficient of x squared is 0, and then the coefficient, sorry, the, um, the constant c is minus 4. And so, to finish the calculation, we square 1, and we get 1, we square minus 4, and we get 16, and we find that the answer a squared plus b squared plus c squared equals 17 and that's how we do that